Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, we will be implementing Google sign in both via redirect as well as via um, pop ups. So uh, let's get started. Uh, in here, uh, to implement uh, sign in with Google, we first need to inject the auth fire service. So Angular Fire auth as a dependency. So right now I'm in my app component temp uh, app components class. I will be importing Angular Fire auth from Angular Fire two slash auth, and then I'll be injecting as a dependency inside the constructor. So private af auth, which is of type angular fire auth okay and then i need to call a few methods right after the user clicks on the buttons for google sign in so to do that let's create uh, two methods so google sign in via pop up and once the user clicks on the button for it in here we will be calling af auth dot auth and then we will call the method named sign in with pop up and to this we need to pass an auth provider so to get that auth provider i will need to create one so auth and auth must be imported from firebase and then auth dot uh, google auth provider and we need a new instance of it okay now what this does is it returns a promise with um, user credentials so we can uh since it is a promise we can uh, chain a then method to it and then this is going to give us uh, user credentials which we will then log to the console to just see what we get now i'll just bind this method to the template So Google sign in via pop up um, to the click event of it. I'm going to bind this method and let's save and go back to the application. So right now on the application, uh, if I click on Google login with pop up, I see a pop up opening right in front of me. And it closes. So let me just open command prompt uh, or the Google developer tools and let's check um, what went wrong. So in the console, I do not see any errors as such. Let's make it default so that we see some other things as well. So I see an object that was printed from app components line uh, 18. And that's where we printed this or logged the user credentials to the console. So uh, if I open this up, I see a lot of things like some user details. Now, since I logged in with my Google account, I will see um, a few things related to my Google account, like my email, my display name. Let me just zoom this in a bit so that it's better visible. All right. So it also gives me uh, things like photo URL, um, phone number and display name and email address, whether my email is verified or not and things along the lines of it. And it also has a UID that it generates for me. And then uh, I can also, s I would also be able to see this UID uh, getting added to my uh, Firebase console for my application. Um, we'll do that at a later point but yeah this these are all the details that we receive and these are all the details that we receive inside the user object 
so uh, at this point what we can do is we can go back to the app component right here and uh, now we have already signed in via pop-up so um, let's do that again via redirect so google sign in via redirect and we need to do something similar here but instead of uh, calling the sign in with pop-up we will be calling the sign in with redirect method and this is going to return a promise of void now why this is doing that is because it's going to redirect me to the actual google website wherein i will have to sign in and then it will redirect me back to this application but at that point it won't be having the user credential okay that's why it's uh, it's returning a promise of void and that's what we can see here once i log in so let's save and go back to the application now um, I'll click on the Google login with redirect button. Oh, sorry, uh, I forgot to bind that uh, to the template. So let me just quickly do that as well. So on click, sorry, my bad. Click, I need to call this method right here. and let me save that now let's uh, click on the Google login with redirect and this is going to redirect me to Google's login page but I've already uh, logged into my Google account so it will redirect me back to the application but at this point I don't really see anything happening okay now uh, to prevent this behavior what we can do is we can listen to the on init lifecycle hook of this component and the on init is something that we'll have to import from angular core so that's what we have done here and since we are implementing the uh, the on init interface we'll have to create a method named ng on init and inside this method what we can do is uh, we can listen to the auth state of uh, the application so this is the auth state now what this uh, does is it returns an observable of type firebase.user okay so since this is an observable i can subscribe to it and this is going to return to me a user and uh, let's log this user to the console so console dot log user right here let's save that and now let's go back to the application and check uh, what happens when i log in via redirect i'll uh, get rid of uh, all these and then let me just log in via redirect again and now once this uh, once the user is logged in i should see a uh, user credential object printed onto the screen and that was printed on uh, app components line number 18 and that's what we have here inside the ng on init the console log that we recently added okay so this is how uh, when we are signing with a redirect we can know whether a user signed in successfully or not and that's how we can uh, get the user object uh, the user credential object and again this is again going to have the similar details like display name email whether the email is verified or not uh, the phone number the photo url and the user id as well so um, this was it regarding sign in with google both via pop-up and redirect in the next uh, video we will be seeing the same for facebook twitter as well as github so i'll see you guys in the next one